Hello everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the day of Monday, October 29th, 2018. So this is not um, time specific. Yes, there are messages coming through today uh, under the uh, um, the label of October 29th, but these messages are timeless, okay? So this doesn't have to resonate with you right now. This could resonate with you further down the line. Whatever, okay? But just, I don't know, settle in. Let's see what we've got for us today. Let's see what the universe wants to talk about. All right. Let's get to it, guys. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective today. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the day of Monday, October 29th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So I'm seeing yellow and I'm seeing green. Um, there's still a lot of heart healing that's happening. Um, and yellow, yellow is the willpower. Um, so this healing is helping, um, helping us with our direction, our drive, knowing what it is we want, going after what it is we want. Now the emotions are getting involved because I'm seeing orange. There's a lot of happening going on in the lower centers right now. And I really think that has to do with um, the realignment of the divine masculine or just the masculine energies that are happening as the divine feminine is on the rise. Um, it's almost as if, you know, the masculine energies, which would, be, which would speak to the lower chakras, so the, the root, the sacral, um, and the solar plexus, there's a realignment happening there. So a lot of purging is happening within the lower chakras um, in order, or well, in service of greater love, greater understanding, self-love, um, universal love, unconditional love. And from there, the higher centers are then able to get more of an energy flow and then open up and then heal more also. So, okay. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I'm going to shuffle this one more time. Um, but this is for Monday, October 29th. Halloween is almost here, guys. It's going to be Halloween on Wednesday. Ooh, happy Halloween. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got for today. Monday, October 29th. There's some, there's more. Yeah, let's see if we can get a little bit more here. Monday, October 29th. Okay, you are you are one. Alright, cool. We'll leave it there. Oof. Yeah, okay. Underneath the deck is the five of pentacles. Alright, so this is this is a central theme right now. Feeling left out in the cold, feeling destitute, impoverished, um, neglected even. You have justice here with the Hierophant, and you are one. You are one um, is one of two unique cards in this deck. This is the Beautiful Creatures Tarot. Um, this talks about authenticity um, and individuality and, you know, knowing your own value and not letting anyone take that away from you really okay and you with the, all of that you have justice in the hierophant here so um there's a lot of justice coming into play there's a lot of separating from the norm right now um not not no longer really giving into the status quo you could even be dealing with some situations in which you may have been wrongly persecuted in a, in a sense, we'll put persecution in, you know, air quotes there, but, and for everyone, it could be different. You really could be, could have faced some sort of social persecution, but I feel like there's justice coming into your life because of that. Um, 
some of you could be dealing with the legal system. But if you are, I don't see anything moving out of your favor, um, mainly because of you are one. If you were to maintain your authenticity and integrity, you know, things, I believe things would be going well, would turn out going well for you. Um, but with the Five of Pentacles underneath the deck here, there's definitely been some sort of persecution, some sort of um, wrongful treatment, mainly in service of, you know, societal standards, the status quo, being fitting into the crowd instead of maintaining your integrity and authenticity, okay? Let's see what else we've got here. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, excellent. The Seven of Wands, okay. And the Four of Wands, my, my, my. So there's a lot of passion. Please excuse the sniffles. Um, there's a lot of passion here. <laughs> a lot of fire, a lot of drive, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles, you know, there's a lot of work being put into our lives right now. Either that is physical work, like you're really focused on your your, your um, career and your finances, but I'm also feeling like there's a lot of work being put into our own emotional healing, our own emotional stability, okay? And there's definitely, there's some victory on the way. Um, there also could be some pride and some ego, okay? But there's definitely an energy of defensiveness you know, not wanting to be taken advantage of, that's for sure. Um, standing your ground. But in a sense, and for some, I feel like this energy of standing your ground could be a little bit... It could be from somewhat of an ego standpoint, okay? Um, there's definitely an energy of, you know wanting to be successful and actually being successful here. This could be success in business. Um, however, the saving grace with all that is you have the four of wands here, okay? So this is unity, this is stability, this is grounding, this is foundation. This is a good sound, solid foundation within the home life. Um, some of you may be wanting to move <laughs> it's funny because I thought I got that vibe this morning about wanting to like maybe find, you know, a studio apartment somewhere or something, but this feels good. And with the six of wands here, um, remember in the beginning I was talking about some of you might be dealing with some sort of legal situation. And um, I was feeling like, should you remain autonomous? Should you re remain authentic and integrous? Um, and, you know, continue to do the work, you should be victorious. And so there could be that seven of wands, that defensiveness, that standing your ground and all of that. Um, there is definitely a, a solid foundation here within the physical realm. Okay, and that's really... That's, I'm sure that's pretty reassuring for a lot of us. <laughs> All right. I want to go ahead and get some clarification here. I'm not sure where I want to start, though. I think I'm going to start with the hair font, to be honest. What can you, what can you, Spirit, what can you tell us more about the hair font here? The hanged man in reverse. We've got the page of cups. Underneath the deck, we've got the four of pentacles. So this is definitely talking about, I mean, that's funny because underneath the deck here, you have the five of pentacles. But um, this is definitely talking about holding on to the status quo. The hanged man is in reverse, okay? And that's a really good thing. Um, okay. So with the hanged man in reverse, this is like coming out of a period where we were feeling stuck um, in a precarious position, um, 
looking to gain enlightenment. And that enlightenment that we've gained here is our own authenticity, our own uniqueness. Mm -hmm. It's realizing that we have more to offer than what society says, than what society tells us we're capable of. We're capable of much more, okay? Um, with the Page of Cups here, this is the dreamer energy. And the dreamer, what we're dreaming of is that Ten of Pentacles, that ultimate um, material existence. This could be your finances and your career, um, but it also could be family life, you know, wanting to have that family and not letting anyone tell you how it should look, where it should come from, that sort of thing here. The Four of Pentacles is another energy of kind of standing your ground here, but um, what I'm really getting with that is um, releasing the hold that basically society might have had on you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. Okay. That's cool. So next... I want to clarify the Six of Wands and the Four of Wands. So we'll start with the Six of Wands here. Clarify the Six of Wands here. Aha! Look at that. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. All right. So underneath the deck is the Devil. Okay, this is fear, it's pride, it's ego. We're clarifying the Six of Wands here, but we've got the Emperor, we've got the, pay, the, the Knight of Cups, and we've got the Four of Swords. So, there is, um, hmm, there's definitely an energy of masculine energy wanting to come forward and give an offer. Um, it's very interesting. But you see, there's fear involved with the devil. It could be fear of the past, um, like past relationships. It could be fear of the future also. So it's very funny because we have the Four of Swords here. And the Four of Swords is like the minor arcana version of the Hanged Man. The Four of Swords is like prayer, meditation, taking time out. Um, to see things clearly, try and see things clearly, try and see things differently. Many of us could be working on manifesting a counterpart. Um, the emperor being some, the emperor is about commitment, is about stability, is about doing what needs to be done for the family, for the good of, of the um, environment, the good of the realm. Um, the good of, you know, everyone, all involved, okay? But there's fear surrounding this. Now, this could be your fear, or this could be the fear of someone else who's trying to come forward or wants to come forward. Um, there could be a fear that this could never happen, like you're, that you're, you're never going to receive this victory, that you're never going to receive this offer from someone, that someone's never going to want to come forward. I mean, I'm... To, I'm just going to be upfront and honest with you guys. I'm totally resonating with that right now. Um, but with the Four of Swords here, there's a there's a, a need to just relax. Um, and maybe disconnect from it for a while. Maybe. Um, but, in, but also there's a need to like meditate and like calm the mind, calm the ego and you know, reassure yourself that you are capable of it. You, you are worthy of it. You're deserving of it. And I already feel like for some of you, there's already someone that wants to come forward. I don't know. Maybe that's just wishful thinking. <laughs> okay, but now I want to clarify the Eight of Pentacles. What is this work that's being done here? Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, please. Okay, um, we've got the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is in reverse, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> Underneath the deck is the sun. All right. Um, interesting. The Three of Wands in reverse. Um, 
All right. So yeah, there's a bit. There's a lot of energy of being three of wands in reverse on the eight of pentacles. There's a lot of energy on you know not waiting around for this anymore. It's like whatever. My ships are never going to come in anyway, so I'm just going to focus on my work and distract myself. But then with the sun underneath the deck, it's like everything is much better than you think. <laughs> okay. Everything's going to work out just fine. You don't have to be so worried about it. You don't have to be so upset. You don't have to feel so worthless. <laughs> Everything's going to be just fine. There's a garbage truck rolling through. So it might get a little noisy. Okay, so now let's, let's clarify the Seven of Wands here. Going on with the seven of wands. Ooh. Okay, we've got justice again. Yeah. Then we've got the ten of wands underneath the deck. And it looks like we have the eight of cups underneath justice. Yep, we sure do. Justice and the eight of cups. So uh, Yeah. <laughs> Justice is here again, and then we have oop, the Hierophant again, also. Okay. Um, this is definitely an energy of walking away from anything that does not bring you the commitment that you want. Okay, and putting up with the Seven of Wands, it's like putting up a wall putting up defenses, boundaries between you and whoever doesn't bring in this justice for you. But see, then there's the Ten of Wands underneath the deck. So it's like, it's as if you're carrying too many burdens. This Ten of Wands could be fears or baggage from the past that is causing um, some sort of disconnect. But for a lot of us, sorry guys, I'm gonna let, I wanna try and let the, <laughs> the garbage truck go by, but, oh, it's passed already. Okay, um, for a lot of us, there's an energy of wanting to have a commitment. And um, <clears throat> if you're not getting that from, you know, who you've been involved with, who you, whom you've been so associating with, or whatever circumstances or situations you've been in, um, there's definitely an energy of walking away. I just feel like for some of us, there is an energy of walking away too quickly, maybe. It's almost as, it's almost like don't walk away yet because justice will be served here. There, there's commitment here. You just may not be aware of it. Um, to be quite honest, I'm not quite sure. It's weird, but okay, finally, I want to clarify the four of wands, and then, um, and, oop, this flipped over, okay, the ace of pentacles, yeah, with, oof, the page of swords in reverse, interesting, and the ace of wands, okay, so this might be, this might be, underneath the deck is the ace of wands, this might be why there is an energy of walking away too soon with the Seven of Wands. Um, and here's why. Because with the Page of Swords in Reverse and the Ace of Pentacles, it's like someone, it's like there's an energy of not needing to seek any longer. Um, not, there's no more information that needs to be gained, okay? There's no more, there's no more surveillance that needs to be done, no more intel that needs to be collected. No, there really isn't anything else to understand. It's time to just go. Because you have the Ace of Pentacles here, which is a brand new start, which is an offer. And this is all on the Four of Wands. So there is a connection here that is felt between some people. Um, and it's really just about taking the chance, taking the leap of faith, and moving forward. Okay, because I really feel like there is definitely a passionate new start here. And it's funny because yesterday, 
<coughs> excuse me, yesterday, while I was doing the Twin Flame reading, um, some flyers came out for the deck that was symbolizing the Divine Masculine Energy, and my attention is being brought back to that because the Emperor came out in reverse with um, the King of Wands upright. And to me, that was like a download of the Divine Masculine Energies. <coughs> Excuse me. That was happening in a new way. Um, like the, the Divine Masculine Energies were being reconstituted and it also came out with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? So I really feel like there's an energy of, there's new masculine energy coming through here and that's going to allow, that's going to allow this Page of Swords energy that a lot of us have been kind of plagued by for so long. Oh God, excuse me guys. Um, the Page of Swords energy that's been plaguing us for so long with this just like, Watching us, or watching someone from the background, from the from the outskirts, and not really doing anything about anything. Well, that's kind of coming to an end. Okay, it's almost as if we're proving ourselves, but it's not like we ever really needed to prove ourselves, you know? Because that's where you are one comes into play. Okay, you don't need to prove yourself to anyone. If no one doesn't see your worth, that's their problem, right? It's not yours. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Okay. So also now what I'm getting here with the seven of wands and then the clarifiers of the Hierophant, the just justice and the eight of cups, um, there is a defensiveness going on against being something that you're not. If someone doesn't want to accept you for who you are, then you're just going to walk away. And ultimately, that would bring justice to you because you are ultimately telling or letting someone know that if you don't accept me for who I am in the state that I'm in in this current moment, then you can't have me. Why? Because I respect myself. I'm autonomous enough. I am independent enough to know that I am enough as I am in this moment. And if you don't want to accept that, basically that's your problem and I'm just going to move on somewhere else. Go somewhere else and, you know, be who I truly am. Okay. I want to clarify one more thing. I just want to under I want to clarify this page of swords in reverse. Okay, there it is. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. <laughs> All right. Ah. La ha ha ha. Okay. And good lord, that's a lot. I don't think I'm going to take all of these. Um wow. Okay, maybe I should. <laughs> all right. The world is in reverse. Okay. Good Lord, I just opened up a can of, can of worms. <laughs> but we have, underneath the deck, we have the Empress. And so now we have the counterparts here. And this is exactly what I was talking about, okay? With the Emperor and the Empress. Um, someone sees you as the Empress. There is no reason to, um, there is no reason to, to, to wonder, to watch anymore, okay? Um, now, we have the moon and the world in reverse. The, the world is in reverse, the moon is upright. And then we also have, good Lord, this is a lot. But I'm gonna take them anyway. We have temperance, the page of wands, I'm sorry, the knight of wands, the hermit, and the king of cups. Okay, so first and foremost, give me a second guys, I just gotta, I gotta blow my nose. <laughs> Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that's better. So, temperance, first and foremost, is that one word that none of us want to hear anymore, but patience, okay? Because things are being balanced for the higher good here, all right? Um, we've got somebody that's doing a lot of soul searching, trying to find their inner light, maybe even trying to recover, okay, from a past 
relationship, a past situation. Um, but it's someone, there's someone here that really has some deep feelings with the King of Cups and probably wants to rush in pretty quickly with the Knight of Wands, but they're not necessarily allowing that to happen, okay? And again, what uh, what's happening here is someone really could be ending a cycle, coming out of a cycle, all right? And um, there's probably some more fear here, okay? With the moon, can talk about fear. Um, the moon is Pisces energy, but to me, also, the moon is um, Cancer, because the moon rules Cancer. Um, but, I mean, if we're talking signs, you've got Sagittarius with Temperance, uh, you got Scorpio with the King of Cups, um, Sagittarius, again, with the Knight of Wands, Virgo with the Hermit, um, you also got Aries here with the the Emperor, Libra with Justice, Taurus with the Hierophant. Hierophant has come out twice. Justice has come out twice. You've got Taurus and Aries with the Empress. But whatever. <laughs> whatever. But ultimately, ultimately, you have somebody that wants to offer. And all of this offer and uh, offer something solid. And all of this has landed on the Four of Wands. Okay, and if this is not someone that you already know, this is something that's being manifested here with the Empress energy. Okay. It's temperance, patience. Um, the universe is bringing this into balance, okay? The universe is balancing both parties out. Because you have, I'm sorry if you can hear that siren, It's coming right down my block. <laughs> Figures. Okay. Anyway, um, you do have counterparts here. All right? Because the Emperor came out on the Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Emperor with the Knight of Cups. The Emperor with the Knight of Cups. But then there's also the Four of Wands. The, I'm sorry, the Four of Swords. Which is taking a break and trying to understand things from a deeper level. Um, this could be a relationship. This could be finances and business. I really feel like this is a lot of relationship energy right now. Um, but then on the Four of Wands, the Four of Wands is talking about the stability, the foundation. And <laughs> you've got all this. You've got the King of Cups, you've got Temperance, the Knight of Wands. Okay, the world is in reverse, but that is just, that is because the cycle is not quite over yet. Whatever this person is dealing with, whatever you're dealing with, because you could be the one that's ending a cycle right now, okay? But there's greater introspection that's coming with the Hermit, all right? So that's shining, finding more of you, rediscovering yourself. Yes, rediscovering yourself after, I don't know. A situation, a relationship, whatever. Okay. I think we're good there. So let's get into... I want to get some Oracle Guidance from the Whispers of Love here. And then we're going to close the reading with an Oracle card from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? See what we have from the from the whispers of love. Continuing with this because Venus is in retrograde. Keep, keep that in mind. And so the Empress is here. The Empress does symbolize Venus. Okay, so this can talk about Venus in retrograde, guys. Woo! I'm just gonna take the two that are face up. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, underneath the deck you have card number 21, choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. Okay, um, now, what I was just saying was Venus is still in retrograde. Um, I'm confused as to when Venus is going out of retrograde because Sal 
whom I watch quite often, um, Eat, Read, Love. He's fantastic. He's so funny. But he says that Venus is going to go out of retrograde on November 4th, whereas all of the people that I've been communicating with here, like my good friend Betsy and um, of Fearless, and Fearless Intuition, and then many of you who have left comments, you're saying that Venus is going out of retro is going direct on like the 16th of November. So I don't know. But with Venus being in retrograde, this is really, this is a period where we're really trying to define what it is we want in a relationship, especially with Scorpio, uh, Scorpio with, the, I'm sorry, especially with the sun being in Scorpio, okay? Um, now, we also just had a full moon in Taurus on the 24th of October. So with the full, with the moon here, that could be talking about the fact that some of us may still be dealing with that full moon energy of releasing, okay? And with Venus in retrograde, there's definitely some introspection happening. And then the oracle cards here confirm that, okay? So first we have appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. That's exactly what's happening right now, okay? Appreciate this moment. Um, allow it to teach you what it is you need to know so that you can bring this justice into your life, okay? This justice and the commitment. The Seven of Wands here with the Hierophant and Justice clarifying it is saying that should you maintain your boundaries, should you maintain your bravery, because that's the... um. That's the key word for this card in this deck, bravery for the Seven of Wands. Um, should you maintain that? And being brave is like, especially with the Eight of Cups here, brave enough to walk away from whatever does not bring you this justice. You will be victorious. It's just maybe sometimes we might jump the gun, but that's really not the most most of the energy that I'm getting here. I keep hearing autonomous when it comes to that. So maintaining your integrity, maintaining your authenticity here, that is key in the face of what society has to say with the Hierophant. And the Hierophant and Justice came out twice, guys, all right? So then second from the Whispers of Love, we have card number 40, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. So continue to allow yourself to dream. Do not... Do not fall into the trap of no longer being the dreamer, okay? Because we have the dreamer here with the Page of Cups, all right? And what are you dreaming of? It's Ten of Pentacles. This is the ultimate manifestation of career, finances, family, all that kind of stuff, okay? It's, that is a family card, the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups is also another family card. But it's not, but at this point, it's about manifesting it in the physical, okay? Not just having the emotional fulfillment, but the physical representation of that emotional fulfillment, okay? Cool, yo, yo. So let's get to the closing, the closing message here from... The Crystal Mandala deck. For Monday, October 29th, 2018. Okay, here we go. Closing message, please, Spirit. There it is. Wow. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'm not going to take that one. I'm just going to leave this one here. Card number 43. Goddess Matanji and Heliotrope. Already there is value. And we did get this card not too long ago. Sometime last week, I believe. Let's see here. Card number 43. All right. We bring you the empowerment to see that already there is value. It is natural for creative energy to become excited by new possibilities, new ideas, and new forms. 
It is also possible, however, for creative energy to become engaged in liberating the undiscovered value within that which already exists, polishing it until it shines with divine light. Sometimes there is a need to shed the past and all associated with it completely, starting afresh. However, at other times, there is something of value from the past that can, if allowed to bask in the light of your creativity, become very valuable for your future. In your enthusiasm to move forward in life, don't forget to take the value that already exists in your world along with you. Well, that sure is a nice message. And actually, that that goes that falls right in line with this card of be in the present and dream of the future okay continue to dream of the future but but stay rooted in where you are right now what do you have in front of you right now what is there to be thankful for in your life right now all of the blessings that you have at this current moment I heard, I just heard the future is bright. So that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. All right, guys. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow morning for our next cup of coffee. Yeah. Take care. <laughs> Bye.